Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorites, some favorite items that I've been using for the last couple weeks. So just a few of my favorites and let's get started. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have been on a no-buy. And so with being on a no-buy has allowed me to kind of go through my collection and really start pulling things out and rediscovering some things that I've had in my collection um, you know how it is when you're getting new stuff you try what you get a couple times and then you got new more stuff coming in so you put that stuff away and then you forget about it so anyway so let's get started first of all I want to talk about a product that I've had for a while and used them a few times and then like I said once new stuff came in kind of put these on the back burner and that's what I have in this palette here which is my um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows um, that's all these here and it is what I'm wearing today on the eyes and I will show you what I've been wearing but my favorite favorite one is this one here which is called White Lies and this makes a really nice just all over the lid shadow to create a canvas and you can probably see there I have hit pan on this little guy so oh, I really that's how much I like it I do like it a lot it's, they're very soft and smooth and creamy and easy to blend and work with which is very important especially if you have hooded creepy eyes you definitely don't want an eyeshadow or a product that is tugging and dragging on the eyes and then in the crease, I have Hipster, this color here, in the crease, which is just a really pretty brown. Hopefully you can see the swatch of that. And these are $6 a piece, which at the time when Makeup Geek first came out, um, they were very, these are very much in comparison to MAC, whereas MAC used to be $10 for this type of pan. And then um, Make It Geek was was and still is only six dollars, so you could buy five Make It Geek shadows for um, five Make It Geek shadows versus three Mac eyeshadows. But now Mac has kind of reduced their prices to match Make It Geek. I really think they did that too, because I think they were really, really probably losing a lot of sales due to Makeup Geek, so they've lowered theirs to $6 now, so, um, but it's still a, a good price, um, definitely worth the money. This is in Mocha, and this I have in the outer corner, so very good. I, I have not tried any of her new formulations. I have tried the blushes, and I don't care for the blushes at all, but the eyeshadows, I really do like the eyeshadows. And then in the inner corner, I have um, Shimmer Shimmer, which is this color here. So, uh, like I said, they just blend very easily. Um, they're long-lasting. They're cruelty-free. They're paraben-free. I just don't think you can go wrong. They have over a hundred um, shades to choose from, and there's um, matte, there's shimmer. Um, I don't think there's a dim dim eye matte, but anyway, I know there's matte shimmers, and of course, you know she has her her pressed pigments now and everything. But I haven't um, used those. I'm just talking about the original Makeup Geek eyeshadows that were came out with at the very beginning. That's what I have. That's what I've been using for the last couple weeks is this little um, guy here and have quite enjoyed those. And the brush that I like putting them on with, and actually I've been using this brush a lot, um, pretty much every single day. It's the MAC 217. And I use this for my crease work and for the outer corner here and in the crease and then to kind of blend them together. And then in the inside here, right here, I use this MAC Oh, I can't, I cannot, my numbers are worn off, but it's just a little flat um, eyeshadow brush. I just put that shimmer shimmer right here with this brush here. And then um, the um, white lies, I use this big, bigger um, brush from Crown Brush. I got this off a of whole look. It's one, it's off the, um, the Badger line. 
I have that. Anyway, so my next favorite that I want to talk about is from It Cosmetics. I have a lot of favorites from It Cosmetics. I really do like that brand. I think it they really work very well with people of my age, with my type of skin, you know, that's getting a little agey, a little bit dry. Anyway, I want to talk about an eyeliner pencil, and this is the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And I have mine in the color um, Black Brown. It also, on the end, it has its own little um, sharpener, so that you can sharpen the tip to make it pointed again. It lasts all day. It is exactly what it says it does. It doesn't tug or pull on the delicate eye area. It also has some skincare benefits in it. It has um, peptides, it has collagen, it has silk, it has vitamins um, A and E. So you're getting good skincare benefits while you're wearing it. Plus it lasts all day. You do have to sharpen it with a sharpener. Um, not this sharpener because this sharpener is just for the the tip there to get the tip no wait I'm wrong it it, it rolls up why was I thinking you had to sharpen it with the pencil no you don't you don't have to sharpen it with the pencil y'all are going to think that I never use it but I really do I do use it I have it on um, it does last here in the waterline is how I like to wear it it's up in the waterline I very rarely put any eyeliner on my actual lid anymore just because I don't have a whole lot of lid space and I don't want to take it up with uh, eyeliner on there so I've been just tight lining and I really do like that for tight lining it works very well it stays this runs around $22 and you can get it on at Ulta or on the um, It Cosmetics website, QVC, just where pretty much wherever um, the It Cosmetics is sold. The next item that I want to talk about is an item that I purchased off of Beautylish, and it's a Chikahoto brush, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see because it has a white handle. But it's the GSN series, and it's the GSN 10, and it is a crease brush, and it's a natural hair, it's goat hair. And when you first get it, it's going to be kind of a little bit more together, I guess, but as you wash it, it gets fluffier. Um, but if you use a brush guard on it, you can make it stay in the thinner tipped size. But what I use this for is strictly for just blending. I don't necessarily use it to lay down color with at all. I just use it to go into the eye at the very end and just make sure that everything is blended nice and smooth and that everything just looks really good. And I love it for this. Plus for being a Korean or a Japanese, I guess, um, brush, the price on it is the same kind of pricing that you would pay for a MAC brush. It's $21, so you can't beat that. Beat that. And like I said, once you wash it the first time, it will kind of get fluffier. And the more you wash it, the fluffier it gets. This is the only one I have, but I definitely, I think I want to get a couple more. And um, when they, um, Beautylish is doing the, um, the gift card sale later on in the year. They usually do that, what, in October? October, November, anyway. Do recommend that. So if you're looking for a really good natural haired um, blending brush, I recommend that one there. Okay, the next product that I want to talk about is a product that I received from Octoly, and I've already done a review on it. And my review, I was kind of on the fence about it. I wasn't really, you know, that excited about it. I thought, eh, it's okay. But the more I use it, the more I like it and I have a feeling that when this is gone I'm probably going to order one and pay for it myself you can get this at Ulta it is the um, pure hydrogel lift looks like this here uh, you would have seen it in my travel bag this is $26 and it's just in the stick form it's a hydrogel type product that you can put underneath the eyes you can also put it on top of the eyelids for prepping the eyes for eyeshadow and concealer I personally just use it underneath here to prep underneath here to um, get my eyes underneath ready for concealer and for brightening products um, 
don't know if you can see how much I've used of it but like I said you just roll it up it's a stick form it's very cooling when you put it onto the skin it doesn't tug or drag it just goes on really nicely um, it smooths the skin and kind of plumps it up a little bit and just acts as a moisturizer and as a, um, a primer I don't know what else to say about it other than that I like it. I've used about that much of it already and it dries down really really quickly but very smooth. Um, it doesn't cause your concealer to catch on it and to drag. It just makes everything go on a whole lot smoother so I really do like that. And then the next product I want to talk about or the last product of my favorites is a tried and true and it's a product that I have used for years and years and years and um, I haven't used it in a while because I've been using you know all the new cleansing oils and different kind of makeup removers that have been coming out and this has kind of been on the back burner but since I've been on my no buy I'm completely out of all of the cleansing oils I like the MAC and the Sephora one so I thought well I don't want to buy anything even though I'm out and technically you know I could but I do have this guy here and I have a big one I thought well I'm gonna go back and start using this again and I'm thinking it's one of those things that you you know you like and then you put it away and you try other products and then you pull it back out and you start using it again you think why did I put it away why did I stop using it but anyway it's from philosophy it's the purity made simple um, this is the big big daddy size that I had gotten off of QVC um, but you can get the I think it's 24 ounce at Ulta for $36 what I like about this the best and at the time when this first came out there wasn't really a whole lot of products out on the market that would do what this does and that is completely remove all of the makeup off the skin including the eyes without stinging and irritating the eyes now I understand now that there's products out on the market now that do that that may even work better than the purity but at the time when it was first launched this this was it this was the big boss this is what you got if you wanted something that was going to do it all and I really do enjoy using it um, when I started this it was completely full I'm down to here now so I have I have no negatives to say about it at all um, I like it it works it takes everything off it doesn't irritate my eyes it doesn't get in my eyes or if it does I don't know that it's in my eyes because it doesn't sting and irritate where some products you know even though they're designed to take off your makeup they're not designed to take off eye makeup so that one does it does it all and I really do enjoy it it's tried and true it's been in my regime for years and years probably I don't know at least a good five years six years I've been using this so anyway so that is my favorites I hope that you have enjoyed don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, click on the little bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos and I will talk to you soon